So I don't usually do these, but I went to the VFL today, of course, to see Dan McStay's um, first game back in like nearly 300 days. Let's get into it. So on an absolutely cold, cold, you can, see, you can see it's cold because I was wearing my scarf like this for most of the game. Um, I went to, whoops, I went to um, the VFL at AIA Centre um, to watch Dan McStay's first game in, in nearly 300 days. I kicked the goal in the first couple of minutes. It was, oh man, it, it was, it, it warmed the heart to see Dan McStay back out there, you know, doing his thing. He got through three quarters unscathed. Uh, I think the plan was to play 40 minutes. I think he might have played a little bit more than that um, or, or right on. You can't really tell because I couldn't really see the time or anything like that uh, from, where I was sit well, from where I was standing. Um, but he took a couple of really good marks. Um, he kicked a goal. He kicked one He kicked one goal one. Uh, but his presence was, was felt around the ground, especially even on the bench. You could hear him you know, calling, setting people up and stuff like that. Um, with the VFL being a, a, as bad as they are, and obviously there's reasons why they are bad, uh, because we've taken most of their players. Um, the, the, the entries into the forward 50 weren't that good. He wasn't getting a, a lot of a look in. But the, the look-ins that he was getting, they were good. He, he was taking all of his opportunities, took a couple of good grabs, like I said, uh, and bring him straight into the ones next week because we, we miss his presence. I, I saw someone on Instagram comment that he's already our best forward. Um, but we, we, definitely, we definitely miss his presence um, out there. And, and he did everything everything right for me to say that he he goes on and um and plays the uh plays this next game talking more about the AFL list of players in the um VFL today Bytel had 30 plus disposals he did okay I, I thought he got obviously he got a lot of the ball he didn't lay one tackle though and uh, you know as a sort of inside that sort of inside mid player who's playing you know a little bit outside today but I would have liked to see him stick a few tackles there were a couple of tackles that sort of went through his grasp um so he's a big body, like he should be sort of, you know, laying those tackles. And, and that was one of the things that we didn't do properly uh, last night in the AFL where there was a lot of broken tackles. Players were absolutely running through us and that wasn't very good to see. On the other hand, Finn McRae did really well. I think he, um, I think he got about 20 odd disposals, but he did lay, I think it was about eight tackles or... I don't have the stats in front of me, but he did. He did lay uh, over a dozen uh, tackles, a bunch of clearances as well. He played. He played good. Good for 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 his sort of position. Could he? Have, you know, the thing with McRae is that he just he just can't do it in the AFL for some reason, and it's disappointing because he's such a good player, and he just can't go that one sort of step um, above where, where we sort of need him to be. Um, who else? Uh, oh, oh, oh. Reef McInnes, he had eight score involvements. He was incredible. Eight score involvements, eight marks. I think just from watching this one VFL game, and I don't, I try and watch the VFL as much as I can, but just from watching this one game, I feel like his best position might be either as a very high half forward or on the wing. He has a tank. He was drafted as like a mid, wasn't he? Uh, he can run all day, can take a really good mark. He could be that link up player. So instead of playing Harvey Harrison on the wing like we did yesterday, I think we need to give Reef a whole game on the wing. I know that might be a little bit out of position for him, but just because, you know, these last few weeks we've been missing that link up player and that link up player is usually my check. The link up player is usually um, Cox, you know, just a sort of tall guy, McStay, just a tall guy um, pushing up high half forward and then, um, and then taking that sort of, and then taking that sort of mark. Uh, and I think Reef can do that, and he proved it today that that he sort of can do that. He was taking marks off, you know, around the centre half back area on that sort of flank, uh, on the wing uh, at half forward. So I think I think we just need to a, a change of position for Reef. And as much as we sort of want him to to kick goals and and be that be that guy that's kicking goals, I don't think that's his natural position. I think it is in the midfield, and and you know he might not get a look in in the midfield. So I think the wing is the next best position for him and that's just an eye test of of what sort of happened um what's it, what, what i sort of saw in in the vfl today so you know i think as well the afl is shooting themselves in the foot now with the development of these seconds players where they've got this sub rule you know and we've seen it not even just from collingwood we saw it you know with melbourne some of melbourne's sort of debutants um do well when they come on and then they get dropped the next week because they need um more game time 
We saw it with Reef. He comes on as a sub, plays 10 minutes, and then he has to play a full game in the VFL. So, like, you know, with this sort of with this sort of stuff, if they just change that sub rule to be five on the bench, then we can see what these guys can do. Uh, and it just, it just, I don't know, it just makes so much sense to me anyway. Uh, and, and let me know in the comments if you if you disagree with that. But it makes so much sense. So like, look at Will Parker, for example. He played two games. He played, he debuted against Fremantle, then played the next game, whoever whoever we played. Oh, was it the Doggies? Yeah, I think it was the Doggies, the next game. He combined for 30, like less than 35% game time across the two games themselves. So he played what? Let's just say 17% in one game, 17% in the other game. Why? Why? How, how can he develop in the AFL if he's playing 10 minutes of game time? Like, it's bullshit, really. Um, and that way, if we had just five straight on the bench, no sub, then they can sort of get a run, they can get a feel, and we can have another rotation. I just think it just makes so much sense. The sub rule is shit. It was good when it was a concussion sub rule, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't have to be. Now, if you have five on the bench and someone goes off with a concussion or someone goes off with an injury, you're down to four on the bench. So you you are what you are anyway, right? That way, if you do it, let's just say you do a tactical sub, you know, in the third quarter or whatever it is, then some guy goes off injured with a concussion, you're down to three on the bench anyway. So I think it just has to be five, and they've, they're, they're just, they need to help develop these players instead of just giving them 10 minutes and then having to play a full game of VFL the next week. But just to wrap it up, Dan McStay's return was it was just incredible to see. Uh, I know he didn't set the VF the the AIA center on fire, but he did enough for me to say, look, he didn't even have to do anything for me to say let's just play him next week. I think we should have played him yesterday. Um, I think his presence was what we were missing. Cox's presence is what we were missing. Um, he plays against Hawthorne next week. There's there's no ifs or buts about it. Maybe if Myocek was playing, um. You could say give Dan another week, but he just has to come back. We need the, the reality is we need to win a minimum four games uh, to make finals. Dan McSay is a big key, big key to that. He absolutely has to play. Let me know your thoughts down below. Were you at the VFL? Did you like what you saw? Who was your standout? Did you watch it? Did you watch a stream? Let me know your thoughts down below. But until then, like, comment, subscribe, tell your family, tell your friends, tell your pets, and I'll see you next time. Double shackers. I'll see you later.